I've been having some trouble finding the perfect fishing shoe. I do all sorts of fishing, between beach fishing, jetty fishing, pier fishing, boat fishing, kayak fishing. I do all sorts of fishing, but, but I only want one pair of shoes for it all. One pair of shoes to rule them all. Hey, 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 hey. This is what I've been using. These are my Merrells, and they've got a Vibram sole, but my problem with these, take a look at this. This weighs almost two pounds for one boot. One boot. If I'm walking around in this all day, especially if I get it wet and water in here, this is gonna be four or five pound boot. And it's just too heavy. I'm literally walking around with ankle weights. This works well for dry land for, for winter time to keep my feet warm. And I can't go into the water with these because once this fills up, it gets very heavy and very stinky. This has not been perfect for everything. Here are my other water shoes. They're very lightweight, 0.3 pounds, but they are so lightweight that I might as well just be wearing socks and fishing in socks. There's no sole to it. There's no toe protection. I had a lot of problems when, when looking up what is the best shoe because I haven't found any kind of review on, on the kind of shoe I'm looking for. Um, so it was kind of frustrating for me, but I did find two pairs of boots that I think will work. The Shimano wading boots and the soft science boots. I got both of them because I couldn't find reviews on them. Like there wasn't enough stuff for me to decide. So I bought both of them. I'm gonna test them both and I'm gonna return one pair. Okay, right off the bat, let me just say, these Shimano's feel way heavier than this. I say twice the weight. First off, let's weigh, let's weigh the Shimano's. 1.521 pounds, okay? Now, for the soft sciences. 0.75, that's like half the weight. This weighs half the weight of this, which is already a huge plus for me. The Shimano's run me around $80, not including tax. The Soft Scientists run me about $90 without tax. About a $10 difference. So now that's enough testing indoors. Let's get outside and really test these out underwater. I've got the soft science on right now. They feel good, feel nice, really lightweight. It's got some ankle support, so I, I'm not afraid to twist my ankles on here. Oh. I had to step in the water for the first time. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm wet. My feet are wet already. Got some good grip. I mean, it's a nice sole on here. It feels good. Okay, it's pretty easy to navigate with these shoes on. Definitely better than like, it's got some good support. It's nice and stiff. I can go from rock to rock with not too much trouble. Very lightweight. Now, I, I'm curious to see how it drains. As soon as my feet come out of the water, they should just drain right out. See all that water coming out? The more I walk, the more water comes out. So instead of a, a soggy boot, it drains. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, now my biggest issue is sand getting into my shoe and rubbing against my foot. I hate that. That's the worst. I'm just gonna kind of kick up some sand like this. Let's see how my feet look after. Okay, there's a, there's a bit of sand in here. I can feel it. Because this, this lip right here is not sewn in. So sand can get in here. Um, you just need to, you need to tie it tight. I didn't tie it too tight, um, cause I think it's really uncomfortable when I wear it really tight. 
see how much sand got in. Okay. Okay. Some pebbles got in. Not too much. You can see just a little bit. Okay. That's how much sand got in. Kicking the sand around everywhere under the water. Getting my feet under, under the sand. Walking around. Um, yeah, like this, like I said, this lip isn't able to protect it from all sand because it's not completely attached. But I, I'm telling you, any wading boot you're gonna get, you're gonna get a little bit sandy if you're kicking around in the sand like that. Like, unless you're wearing neoprene or waders all the way going up, you're gonna get sand. Kind of like that these are lace ups because I don't know. I feel like zippers get stuck and zippers break, but laces you can keep changing out. Saw science, it felt pretty secure. I didn't feel like I was gonna lose my balance. Um, I had pretty good footing. I really like the soft science. And now I'm kind of curious, how will the Shimano's work? Okay, so putting the Shimano on, well, close right on really quickly. This material is really soft. It feels like neoprene. Right here is pretty hard. I mean, it's not too hard, but it's it's gonna protect your toe. The sole is, is very stiff, feels good. Now, the only thing to hold this on your foot is a zipper, like that, and this strap right here. And they feel really comfortable, like a, like a slipper. But now I'm worried about my ankle support. Like I said with the other ones, there's th those are stiff. This is very floppy, not as much ankle support. So here are the Shimano's. Okay, and still dry. Whereas those, those other ones, the soft sciences I got wet and pretty much immediately I stepped in. Still dry, oh, no, nope, it's coming in. Wet, I'm wet, very wet. Okay, so with the Shimano boots, those are really slippery. Since the sole is so thick, uh, I thought it would be, you know, easier to walk on these rocks, but I kept slipping the whole time. Uh, as compared to the Soft Science, I felt like I had a little bit more grip. So in terms of grip, I think Soft Science so far, I would rather be wearing those Soft Science. These Shimanos are pretty slippery. Where does it drain? Is it draining at all? Oh, it kind of drains from here a little bit, but that's the top. And my boot feels pretty heavy with water now. I mean, they look cool, and it doesn't seem to drain anywhere but this zipper here. I don't like that. I like the soft science because they drain from this from the bottom. Let's open the boot and see what it looks like. You hear that? It's so sloshy in here. You hear that? It feels bad. I don't like it. I need it to drain, but it only drains through that top. Let's see. Oh, you hear that? Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this. That's why I don't like these. That's a big uh, con for me is that is all that water that comes out of there. Now let's see how much sand, how much sand got in there. Hard to see, but there is about the same amount of sand as the other one. Like I said, it's gonna be hard to avoid sand completely, but listen to this. Listen. I don't like that. And I don't, I especially don't like this. Okay. No 
sir, I don't like that. Let's give the pros and cons of each of these now. First of all, let's start with Shimano's. I did like the sole. The sole was nice and thick, felt great. I wasn't afraid to stub my toe. I do like how soft and easy it is to get on. It feels really comfortable. It feels like I'm just wearing slippers. Those are the only two pros for me, honestly. Uh, now some cons. Now bear with me guys, this is, this is my personal opinion, but I think these are way too heavy. Especially when you put wa when water fills up in there, it's way too heavy. Okay, another thing. Um, I didn't like how slippery the bottom soles were. I kept slipping on the green rocks, the, the mossy rocks. Whereas this one, I was slipping, but not, not as much as this. I rate the Shimano's a six out of 10. Now onto the soft sciences. Pros were they're extremely lightweight. They feel great. Another huge pro for me is that they drain. These ones kept filling up with water and they added an extra pound of water. It, what felt like an extra pound of water. This, they all drain through these holes right here. I do like how it's, it's lace up so that if this fails, I don't have to worry about my shoe being totaled. All I need to do is just change out my laces. I like the sole in here. It's, it's a very nice, comfy sole. It's made of the same material as the sole, as the, uh, as right here. It's like a soft, spongy, really lightweight. It's, it's uh, odor resistant. It's got, a, it's got a stiffer ankle support than this one. I, I feel more comfortable jumping around rock to rock with these pair of boots on rather than these. Uh, the sole here, the grip, it feels great. Um, and all in all, I think this is the better boot. Now, I rate this soft science boot 8 out of 10. My only problem with this boot is that it's not as comfortable as this one. Around my ankles, yes, it gives me more support, but that makes it a little bit less comfortable. But at the end of the day, these perform the job better, in my opinion. I'm going to provide links to both of these in the description below. But if you guys want to see all the other kinds of gear that I use for the kinds of fishing that I do, I have a gear guide available on our website in the link in the description below. We also have all sorts of ebooks teaching you what to pack, how to pack, what not to tie, everything you want to know about fishing, we've got an ebook on it. Check it out at the link in the description below.